Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Jess. Um, otherwise, welcome my gardening angels. Um, back to another video. So it is really nice outside tonight. So I'm actually sitting out on our patio. Um, we have the grill going and the sun had just set behind the mountain. So it's like perfect. Um, but I wanted to do a little harvest video for you guys tonight on my Little Jewel or Pachyphytum Compactum. Um, if that's not how I say it, you guys are more than welcome to correct, correct me in the comments, but that's what I call it. So, um, if you guys are interested in buying one of these, I know Fairy Blooms does sell them, so I can include a link to them below. Um, but this one I bought from a nursery that's actually local here in South Dakota, and it just had a ton of babies on it and I think I only spent four dollars on it so I definitely got it and I wanted to kind of cut those babies off and kind of do a little cuttings tutorial I guess for you guys and kind of see how many babies this four dollar succulent actually does have so this succulent has actually endured a little turmoil already it was um, dropped early on <laughs> um, actually back when I did the plant haul for you guys from this nursery it was knocked off a table and so I already lost a bunch of leaves that I have for propagating um, but I'm hoping to get a few more today so I hope you guys enjoy this let's see how many we get okay so I'm really sorry you guys if it's really loud out here we have the grill going and we live next to a really busy street so the cars might be coming by um so this is the plant here it's really pretty. So I really like these geometrical leaves. You can kind of see they look kind of like a slice was taken out of them. Um, they're kind of flat edged instead of completely round like some succulents are. Um, so here was where the damage occurred. You can see that it lost a lot of leaves. I had already ripped off a bunch <laughs> for propagating and then it fell. Um, so I see one, two, three, four, five, maybe six in here. Um, if they're too small, I'll leave them for now. Um, I kind of want to leave one and maybe cut this tall one off. I think that would be the most beneficial. Otherwise, if I leave this tall, then um, it might tip over in the pot if I just remove all of these. So I think I might leave this middle one and then try to cut around it for these other ones. Okay, so since it is April, I have a little Easter basket here. I think I bought it from like a grocery store a while ago. Um, but yeah, so I was just taking a knife. It's kind of clean. It's not sterile. I've never had an issue with that. I know a lot of people say to use a sterilized knife, but I'm going to be um, going against the grain and I just wipe it off. <laughs> um, but so I'm going to want roots to be able to grow out of these nodes here. These are where leaves were previously. So I want to leave some of those to make sure that roots can grow out and maybe other leaves. So I'm going to take these. Another good option for cutting would be like shears or something. And then once I'm almost through, I just want to make sure I'm holding on to the actual top part in some capacity. Ooh, that might be hard. So that didn't quite work out for me, but um, I only lost one leaf. <laughs> we'll just put it in the basket. Um, I might clean this up a little bit and cut off this thing here. I don't know if it actually makes a difference or not. Not gonna lie, but I think it looks messy. So there we go. And there's one. And then I'm going to actually remove these just bottom few. I could have probably cut farther down on the actual stem. So you wouldn't have to remove it but that's just more to propagate for me so um, I'm going to let this callus over since this is such a thick cutting I would say it's probably like uh, I don't know half an inch um, I'm gonna let it callus over for several days maybe a couple more than I normally would just because it is so thick um, but yeah so there is one and then I'm just gonna actually leave this and Hopefully what will happen is there will be some pushed off the top here So I'm gonna get this guy. This guy actually doesn't look so great right here I have no idea what's going on, but I kind of want to remove him So I'm just gonna go down here at this base Right there and kind of cut into the soil a little bit There we go 
so yeah I'm not exactly sure what this brown is um, this is kind of new to me but um, if you know let me know at first I thought it might have been like a scab from mealybugs but this doesn't look like mealybugs so maybe it's like a fungus or something but I mean doesn't it popped off this leaf but otherwise doesn't seem to be bothering it too much same thing here I'm gonna just remove those bottom leaves and then let that one callus over so I can harvest it later and then there's kind of a couple leaves just around in here this one is dead so I'm gonna actually just toss it <laughs> okay so then there's the clean cut of that one I'm trying to think if I should leave these little two ones on to grow a little bit longer or just remove them and just let that big one grow or leave them on unsure but let's remove this guy for sure um, okay so back here looks like it might be a potentially good cutting spot there is a leaf in my way though so I'm just gonna pop him off Come here. okay he's out of the way at least so then I'm just gonna get my knife back in there again and cut down Kind of a funky one. The leaves at the bottom are really small. Okay, I'm gonna give him a little extra. So I kind of like to give about, you know, half an inch to an inch to stick in the ground. But that'll do. This guy I'm going to leave on. He's a little small. I kind of want to let him grow, but I might remove this leaf so that he can have kind of a little bit more room this way. You know what? I'm just going to end up removing these two because I think they're going to have an issue kind of running into this container. Um, and they are pretty thick stemmed. So I'm going to remove this leaf here. And then go in with my knife kind of at this angle. And then I'll show you kind of how thick they are. So, I mean, they're pretty decent size. I mean, they're about the same thickness as like my fingernail. So I think they'll do just fine producing roots. Um, again, just removing these bottom few, it should be fine. And then I'm gonna do the same for this guy. I'm gonna come at it from this angle though and remove this leaf. And then it looks like there's another one right here. So I'm gonna be careful not to cut him. So there we go. Okay, so there's that, you guys. Um, I'm gonna let this be so long. Ideally, I would have liked to cut it down and it probably would do the same thing, but since this does kind of have that new-ish growth and it's not so scaled over, I'm hoping that that will kind of help promote it to grow. Um, I'm hoping that another one will come out from this callus, or from that cut, and this one as well. And potentially this one um, I might have to come in and remove these lower leaves to kind of give them more room to grow but otherwise I have another three here so hopefully another four at least from all the cuttings or five since we removed five of them so here's my little basket of leaves I will be using those to propagate and then we have some pretty decent sized cuttings I mean this is something you would probably buy in like a two or three inch pot this one's more rough. I might end up removing some more leaves from him. Yeah, let's just do that. Listen. I'm hoping you guys can hear that snap. <laughs> um, but I think that'll clean him up a little bit and give him a little bit more room to grow some roots and also more leaves to propagate. So <laughs> I'm a huge proponent of propagating, you guys. So this guy, I'm gonna try to let him do his thing um, and we'll see if this stuff kind of I guess resolves itself but otherwise that's a pretty good handful of succulents all right so that is it for today's video you guys um, I hope you enjoyed it I always find propagating very peaceful and relaxing sorry if I'm moving a lot 
I have a little buddy with me. Say hi, Kuna. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and give a big thumbs up for either succulent propagation or for my cute puppy, Kona. All right, <laughs> I'll see you guys later, bye.